seven days till we see Arctic monkeys. Six days till we see Arctic. Six days till we see Arctic monkeys. Five days till we see Arctic monkeys. Four days till we see Arctic monkeys. Three days till we see Arctic monkeys. Two days till we see Arctic monkeys. One day till we see Arctic monkeys. On our way to Arctic monkeys. <laughs> Good morning. Today is the day. I'm so like, yeah, I'm gonna be excited for it, but this week has been questionable. Anyways, it's fine. It's happening. I am not gonna style my hair or any of that. I'm just gonna go straight to Malia's house and we're gonna go have a look around some vintage shops. In the meantime, I just need to do my skincare, eat something, and then pack up all my makeup. It is like nine, the concert starts at five, but we're gonna get there at four to try to beat the crowds. So I am about to leave, and this is the outfit. And I shall see you soon. We have bummed out. <laughs> And we love it. We're going to find this vintage shop. We did not find anything and I'm a bit sad. I'm not like sad, but I just, I would have liked to get something. Taste test. What do you think? You didn't even cheers me, oh my gosh. Spit it back and redo the whole thing. Love, love. <laughs> <laughs> that noise. Okay. We were supposed to leave an hour ago, but we're here, and that's called being a girl. Oh my gosh, we complement each other perfectly. Mm, yeah. Um, trying. Tom Marks are not trying. <laughs> that's really nice. It's very operatic. We got on the bus and we literally fell off the stairs. You didn't touch. Yeah. Well, sorry. You I fell, I you. fell, you got up and then. Everybody me. fell. Ten, Ten minutes, minutes to Brian. Brian. Literally, here we are. We are in the line, and unlike Harry Styles, I didn't get to go in quicker. So we are one of the people. This is giving very much good
gonna go on a Tesco trip because that's fun. If it's open. Yeah. Is that a gym I forgot to film, but we got meal deals and I had a wrap. And now I've got sensations and tar bites and coconut water. Coconut milk. Some hell. Yeah. We have just got off the back of. We have some water. Fantastic. I still have not consumed the trial bites. It is 1.27 now. I have just taken off all my makeup and done some skincare. I'm staying over at my house tonight because it's just too late to go home. <laughs> I have just gotten home and yeah, let's do a concert review, concert overview. It was so good. It was like everything I expected and more. And it's also still like a haze because I feel like I need to let my memories settle. I don't know if I'm the only one. Obviously Harry Styles was my first concert and then just kind of comparing the two. And I didn't know what to expect. And at the same time, I was like, what is the point in like dressing super nice? Because it's not like he's going to see you and there's so many people. You'll just be like washed out and blended out by like the crowds. And, you know, everyone, you know, you see them put effort in, but it can't be fully appreciated. But then it's like, no, like you're appreciated by your friend group and by the people that you go with. So I'm editing this right now and I was like, I don't even know who you're going to be appreciated by. But when I was in the toilets, a girl literally came up to me and was like, wow, you look so good. And she was drunk, but it counts. And she was so sweet as well. And obviously he's not going to see you, but that's okay because you're there to see him. And naturally we would all want to be seen. But it's like you're going to like a club, but the singer's there. So you're there to make vibes and to vibe and to just have a good time with your friends. Except you actually get to see your favourite singers live. And that was just something really interesting that I thought about. And I didn't really say it in my Harry Styles concert video. So I just wanted to say it now. So with Arctic Monkeys, they were very much different from Harry's and they interacted a lot less with their audience. They were kind of just like, hello, commentary, and then you know, you move on. And Harry was much more like making jokes, interacting, you know, getting to know people, like speaking to the people. I feel like Alex could barely see any of the people and it did get dark. Harry was very much to entertain. AM was very much to perform. And something I was speaking about with my friend and her sister was AM was there to set a mood. Harry was more to set a scene and for M it was like they were coming to perform for you, they were doing their job, they were singing for you. There wasn't any clips of like showing the audience, so there wasn't any kind of like jokes, it was just song after song but it wasn't just song after song like there was a whole mood created. You could really appreciate it. Harry I feel like it wasn't like song after song either but it was like because there was a lot of songs, I feel like the main things that I remember were him kind of like skipping about and making vibes and being fun with everyone, which of course I do remember the songs, but what stands out to me is more like his bit. But with AM, it's like you remember like the way the lights were, the way the smoke was, the way the music sounded. Because I've listened to the recorded versions, it was just so interesting like the way they'd be like tuning the instruments like between each song like the whole set would just go dark <laughs> stage would go dark and so they would often tease notes and you'd be like I think it's this and then it would be something else and it was body paint they teased a few notes and I was like oh my gosh and then I was like wait but it may not be they may just be teasing us again but then it actually was body paint and I just love the way I'm not like a musician myself but I don't think it was necessary for them to tune between every single song but it was that emphasis, like, these are real instruments, like, it's not electronic. Me and Malia were also speaking about how, like, Harry Styles, like, of course people care about his band, but they're not there to see his band, they're there to see him, which is why he must do more to stand out. 
As in, not that he has to stand out, because he does, naturally, he's a solo artist. Everyone knows that they're there to see him, everyone knows that it's him that they're seeing. So when they see him, they go wild for him. But with AM, it's like they're a whole band, so Alex isn't gonna try and, like, stand out any more from the band than he already does as the lead singer. So it's just interesting. And we're trying to understand why he didn't really interact with the audience, because in past concerts, like, you do see he does, you know, kind of, yeah, a bit more. But maybe it was also just the vibes, like maybe he just sensed the crowd and was like, they may not react well, I don't know. But yeah, to be honest, us three were like rocking it out and then everyone else was just kind of like, mm. but it's okay. Yeah, everyone I'm sure had a great time. I wish Cobb turned up a bit more. But it was okay because I was there to have a good time with my people and we had a good time and we felt good and yeah. So it was such a nice experience and I've been to say like just ugh. I would love to see them again at a time when I'm just in a better place and just able to fully take it in. And I think floor tickets would also be nice. So if you want to see that, subscribe because can't promise it will happen, but I will try my utmost to make it happen. It was so nice and it's definitely something like that holds a special place in my heart and it's so different to anything that I would have done because my family, they don't really listen to alternative music or rock style music. So it was just so nice and to be with people who were so passionate about that genre of music, it was a beautiful experience. Also brought this camera and I got some good pictures which I just want to print out and stick on my wall. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment what your favourite AM song is and who you would like to see perform live. And if you haven't already seen my Harry Styles vlog, do check that out. I will link it somewhere. And follow my Instagram, I'm always posting updates about if I'm able to post that week or not. So if you're wondering about the inconsistent posting, there's usually updates on Instagram and, you know, we can be besties. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.